Hey YouTubers, Facebookers, anybody that cares to watch this video, good morning. It is Saturday. Um, I tried to sleep in, but Nico, my little chihuahua corgi, decided to scratch on my bed at 8.15 and wake me up. I was sound asleep. So I get up and I take my early morning medication that I do and I go to the restroom or the potty for those people that think that saying the restroom is a little bit too perfect or too uh, classy. I like to go pee. So I look and he's back in his little bed on the floor snoring. So yay, happy Saturday morning. So it is the 8th of June, and now I'm being fearless. I'm showing you exactly what my skin looks like without any kind of filters. Everybody's like, do you use filters when you take your selfies and stuff? And I'm like, no. Sometimes I just like put a little mascara on and make sure my eyebrows like don't look like old lady eyebrows and put just a little color on my lips when I do selfies, stuff like that. But Usually I don't use any foundation or anything to take like those kind of selfies. I just have a little something on already. So today I want to just do like a, an old lady freshening herself up for the public kind of makeup. Nothing fancy. Just what I insist on doing when I go to the store or something, or when I feel like it, when I'm going to take me go out for a walk. So I am using a, a gel hydrating, oopsie, a ultra hydrating gel moisturizer that I found at Trader Joe's, and it's got aloe and green tree, tree um, extract, and it is like putting on a new face. I am so not kidding. And also, always get like to the edges of your hair and stuff because that's your face too. It also goes into my hair, which my hair actually likes that. And so, <clears throat> I put that all over me. Remember to get your decolletage and your under your chin and go up, up up for the last when you're putting your moisturizer on so it just gives me that like dewy sexy like skin for an old lady <laughs> I'm just kidding so <clears throat> sorry I'm losing my voice too then I found this stuff and I'm sure I got it at Walmart it's Physician's Formula Refreshment ID Puffer. And it's a little stick. And it's got these two little caps that you gotta take off. And then it is peppermint uh, and cucumber and bamboo. And it's just, I just put it over my eyes because I got these little puffy little things that I never used to have and it's not just for below your eyes it's for all around your eyes and it's a moist it moisturizes my eyes and I love it so anyway I know I don't want to take like forever doing this video so <clears throat> so that's what I do to prep my face oh and I also have I'll show you later I'll show you later so okay so I Go ahead and just smooth that in, the depuffer. I put it into my eyebrows. And oh, my face was scrubbed clean before I put the moisturizer on. And I have these two cool um, facial cleansers. They're inexpensive. They're by Clean and Clear, Morning Burst Facial Cleanser. It has vitamin C and ginseng and oh, my goodness, I just take a washcloth and I gently buff my face with this and then rinse it. And it is 
so beautiful and the smell is like amazing. And then at night, before I go to bed and before I put that moisturizer on, I use Clean and Clear Night Relaxing Deep Cleaning Face Wash, oil free. It's got sea minerals and sea kelp uh, extract in it. And it also has a beautiful smell. And I do the same thing and moisturize. And then at night though, before I go to bed, I use this. Um, Trader Joe's Rose Water Facial Toner. And everything is turned around on here and I don't know how to change it. I try to change it. Everything's backwards. So it hydrates and refreshes and it makes you smell like roses and it just helps you go right to sleep sometimes when you're not thinking about the day. Um, okay, so I went out and I splurged and I bought a foundation brush that I've never used before. I've been always using this little blender and clean your sponges and brushes often. Um, and keep your brushes upside down when you're drying them because if you do this the water gets inside and it gets moldy and we don't want to do that so I got this brush and I've never tried it before so if it fails while I'm trying to put my foundation on then we're gonna go back to the trusty little blender sponge blender but ladies <clears throat> and some guys if you wear makeup cool I've got this infallible longwear shaping stick foundation. It's got uh, 27 SPF sunscreen in it. And I found it. And it's just a, a stick that goes up and down. And I got it at Walmart. And it's not too expensive. I wish I could remember how much it was. But it lasts for a really long time. And I'm just doing this because... This is what I'm supposed to do. You take the brush, your foundation brush, and you put it on your foundation. Let's see how much I hate this. Because I don't know if I'm talented enough to use a brush. So what I do, oh, okay, all right. So what I do, and now you could see that I need Botox really well. Okay. I may just use the brush to apply it and use the the sponge to yeah I don't like it I don't like the streaks usually I take the foundation and just draw it on my face like a crayon and it's much easier than this nah nah don't like it but that's okay because I'm gonna blend it in hate this hate this brush so I won't be using that brush so just to make sure I get every part of me that I want to blend in <clears throat> and yes and this color is very light um, because I am very light but you're supposed to use a color that's a little bit darker than your natural skin so that you don't look like Casper the friendly ghost all right so then I take the foundation and I blend it out. I blend it all over into my hairline so that it doesn't look like I am two-tone. And I seriously will never use that brush again. It just doesn't feel like I got enough of the foundation on. So, um, so I basically just blend it all over. I mean, it's real easy, people. You know how to put makeup on. I'm just, I'm just showing you what I do to make myself feel a little bit more pretty. And it's really important to make yourself feel prettier if you don't feel good all the time. Like my fibro and my fatigue steal my, uh, self esteem a lot so <clears throat> I don't wear makeup every day because sometimes I don't give a F but every once in a while I will do this and it does make me feel much better it does so here we go it's all blended blended down your throat and your neck because 
people that walk around with that borderline, you look like an idiot. Seriously. I don't know why anybody would think, oh, that looks good. You can't see in the mirror. Do you have any mirrors in your house? All right. So that is my foundation. And you could see that all the little blotchy red spots that I had really have been evened out. And now my skin looks so much more even. So, <clears throat> so now what I do, <laughs> yay, I go ahead and I have, I have highlighter that I just recently learned how to use. Uh, this is um, L'Oreal Lumi. It's a highlighter, liquid glow illuminator prime highlight. What I do is I put a couple spots on my cheekbones, down my nose, and I like make a little harder dot and then I just highlight my forehead a little bit. This camera is casting a shadow. I really don't have like a dark brown spot on my forehead. I really don't. I don't. And just making sure we smooth everything. It's just odd. I really don't have... Yeah, my <laughs> my forehead looks fine. Sorry, guys. So, um, putting on this little highlighter... And you want to, you don't want to do it up here. You want to do it down on your cheekbone. And I got a little bit more on this side than this side. So you just pat it on. And you don't want it to dry. So you want to use your little blending sponge. You can use um, powder highlighter, which is fine. I just found this stuff and fell in love with it. So there, I have a little bit of a pretty little iridescent holographic kind of look on my cheek. And then I do like three little... Three little lines up here. And then I take the highlighter and I blend. And it gives your forehead a cute little fresh little glow. What I love about highlighters is it makes you look dewy and fresh. And I used to wear foundation and just like some powder and the powder finds every crack and, and crease and wrinkle, and it would make me look ancient. And I was like, yeah, that's not going to work. So there we go. So now I just go for everything that looks, that looks like I'm moist and younger looking. So I take a couple bits of the highlighter right here. All right, and then I blend. And you can use your, your fingers for this. But then I blend a little bit more with the blender sponge. And you can do this. We're at 14 minutes, folks. Sorry. So we're going to try to speed this up a little bit. All right. So with the light coming down on me, you can see how um, much perkier I, I look. <laughs> perky. I'm so perky. All right. So then that is the highlighter. And... I'll wipe the highlighter stuff off my face, off my fingers. So, and yes, it's a little bit warm in here, <laughs> just a tad. So we're gonna kind of like blot any kind of moisture you have on your face, but you could see that really stays nice. Okay. So 
the next thing I use is L'Oreal Lumi True Match Powder Glow Highlighter. And I use this as my powder all over my face that sets the foundation because it is not, it doesn't look like I'm dry. And I use this religiously. It's got four different colors. And it actually really makes my face look dewy and soft. And I use my little Kabuki brush, Echo Tools. Um, it closes up and opens up. And so I will cover it pretty good with the, um, the highlighter. And then I tap it a little bit. And then I just go over everything into my hairline on my eyes, my eyelids, my nose, and I just put it all over. And it really gives me such a youthful look. 55 years old, not too bad. So that is how it makes my skin glow even more. And I love it. I just love it. So, and that's it. That's all I put on. I won't put more than that because I don't want a cakey, any kind of cakey look. But look at that. So smooth. And, you, and it's still pretty translucent. So I'm not, I don't look like I have pancake on my face. And really, I swear to God, guys, my, my forehead isn't brown like that. I have no idea. So that is basically uh, the foundation the foundation and the uh, powder um, highlighter. So I went out and bought these. There's four colors in here that two of them I will never use. Guess which ones they are. This one and this one. I needed a new um, a blush, powder blush. And they just, I've been looking for my exact color and couldn't find it because I really don't want to go to MAC and spend $40 on a blush, but I got to give them props. MAC colors last forever. Their blush colors last forever. I can't even tell you how old this is. More than 10 years old. I just don't want to go and spend the money. And I probably will end up going back to MAC and finding this color because I really liked it, but it's so old. I can't see on the back what the color is, so I bring it with me and match it. But, so I wanted to see if I could buy lesser expensive um, blush, and I'm going to use this color today. I know that it's kind of like a flesh color, and I will use that another day. Not today. Not today. Not today, Satan. So I'm going to use that color, and I have, okay, where did my blush brush go? Oh, here it is. But what I'm going to do first, folks, woo, menopause time, menopause time, menopause time. Yes. Oh, yes. Oh, my goodness. Yes. For you men out there, if you're watching this, you have no idea. So I use a clean uh, blush brush, and I try to clean my brushes like I don't wear makeup a lot, all the time. So I try to clean them at least once a month because I hardly ever wear makeup. So I'm using this blush and this will be the first time I'm using it. So you, I just take my brush and do this and then I knock off the extra. And just apply it to my cheekbones and a little bit here and a little bit there and a little bit here and boy that is almost non-existent that is really almost non-existent oh huh, i can kind of see it better in my mirror it's okay but i won't use it um so i'm gonna try to use the pink a little bit and there's a lot of pigment on the brush 
So, which is sometimes either a good or a bad thing. Because if there's a lot of pigment, it may be like too much. So, yeah, I like this pink better. Pink is better. Pink is better. The, the really light beige was not good. So, I will give the blush an eight. I got something on my eyelash. Probably the, probably the moisturizer. So, okay, so that's a good thing. We got that done. So, hold on one moment. Oh, I dropped my mascara. All right, so we, oh, and I forgot my most important thing. My doTERRA count, uh, it's a console um, uh, gosh, I can't even talk. Essential oils. And it smells so good. And this will perk me up also. Put a little by my ears. And a little on my forehead. My temples. And uh, it's just awesome. Go to uh, doTERRA.com for essential oils. I got a million different essential oils. So I've got so much, I probably don't have to buy some for a really long time. So um, now I'm going to do my eyebrows, which people have told me I've got really nice shaped eyebrows. It took me forever to work on my own eyebrows because every time I would go get them waxed, they destroy them. I don't like pencil thin eyebrows. I like natural kind of thick eyebrows. Um... And when I put the eyebrow gel and powder on, it looks really nice. So, this is e.l.f. It's by e.l.f. And it's um, eyebrow powder, eyebrow gel and eyebrow powder. So, I, it comes with like this little cute little brush. And I just... Brush it along my eyebrows. Yay! Just to give it more of a, like a less gray, white looking. I'm going to put my makeup on by, by camera from now on. This is much easier for me than looking in the mirror. So then, it just makes my eyebrows more uniform. And not so, you know, spotty. So there you go. And I got a color that was close to my natural hair color. And there. And then you kind of like just put your uh, your eyebrows down a little bit if they go up. And then. <laughs> Yeah, Mindy, do that. Put the eyebrow powder on your forehead. That always works. So, I do this. And the powder makes the gel stay all day long. And I've used this before. And it is so true. And now, got to fix that one spot. That I unfortunately, with my old lady hands, I put the <laughs> eyebrow powder on me. Okay, so yes, menopause time, menopause time. Ugh, it just never ends. So, okay, there is just a natural face, and um, I really, I was gonna put some eyeshadow on, but I decided not, that's not something that I want to do today. But I want to put a little bit of mascara. I don't know, maybe I will put some eyeshadow. What the hell? I found this palette, 24 Karat Nudes uh, by Maybelline. It is so pretty. The colors that they have are so pretty, and I've got like a million brushes in here. 
So pretty, all different colors. And I usually use the natural colors the most. When I'm going out somewhere special, I'll use like the mulberry color and the sparkly like black color. But today, it's all natural, folks. So there is a, I'm gonna take these brushes out so I can show you what I'm using. There is a really pretty like metallic peach color. Peach, I guess. And I use this all the time because it's just so pretty. And I start by putting it on my crease. I know a lot of people are like, oh no, don't do that. But I start by putting it on my crease. And make sure that I get it. There we go. I've got that moisturizer all over my eyelashes. Next time that won't happen. So I'm just putting this really pretty, it's not, I guess it's like a goldish peach. And so just making sure that it is all blended and it's really it's pretty it's just it's just natural oh yes <laughs> this is awesome guys this is awesome so um i usually don't perspire this much but i'm doing a video so of course i have to be pers perspiring so we're gonna try to finish this video in 30 minutes i have a couple more minutes to go so there we have it with that one color on the palette. And I do want to put the highlight color on my brow bone. Oh, whoa. That's so not good. So not good. Really, 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 really not good. It's only because, you know, got to have faux pas when you're trying to do a cool semi-professional looking video, of course. So, we don't want that to happen again. So, up on the brow bone, I put the highlighter right underneath the brow. So it kind of evens out. And I think that's really pretty. I, it's natural, and that's all I'm doing to my eyes. Well, with the eye shadow for, for now. So then, I bought the best mascara that I've ever found, ever. I don't know how I've missed it. It's Maybelline, and it's called the Falsies Volume Express Flared. It is amazing, amazing amazing and the brush is curved and it's pretty nice thick brush and it gets a lot of nice coverage and so it really really my short stubby eyelashes brings them right into focus and you know it's really sad is when you wear glasses and you have long eyelashes which I used to the your eyeglasses break your your um eyelashes off from rubbing against the glass or the plastic or whatever it may be but yes so there you go look at the difference it's really really pretty it makes them really, I love this mascara. I love it. I will buy it forever. Remember to change your uh, mascara every three months, like when you, you change toothbrushes, because it dries out when you push your eye, br eye mascara brush back and forth into it. 
into the container of the mascara and it dries it out and you don't want clumpy uh, eyelashes. And that's how you get clumpy eyelashes. Oh my God, I love this. And you can kind of push back on your eyelashes. You don't need an eyelash curler. Look at that. It flares your eyelashes out. And it's really inexpensive. And folks, I'm not a professional makeup artist, so forgive me. I'm just an old lady trying to feel better about myself. And no, I don't use mascara on my bottom lashes because I've read so many articles that say it makes you look older. When you go to put in your brush, twist your brush in. Okay, twist it around to get more. And always make sure you don't have too much on the tip. And I'm just putting a little bit more. You only need like to go over your eyelashes a couple times with this stuff. Because it's awesome. I love it. I just love it. And you could look right at my nostrils, everybody. Isn't that attractive? So. And then push back a little bit. Oh, I love this stuff. Makes me look like I'm wearing falsies. Seriously. So. It has little angel wings on it, and it's Maybelline, the Falsies Volume Express Flared. So remember what that looks like. And again, <gasps> menopause time, menopause time. All right. So I wanted to put just a little bit of color on my lip, but I wanted it to be like matte. Oh, yes. Okay. I don't want the makeup melting off before I'm finished with the, the video because that would be terrible. But look, my skin looks so much better and so much more even, and I look so much more youthful. And I think that if you have the moment in your day um, to uh, feel better about yourself, and if makeup, putting makeup on um, shows, you know, shows that you care a little bit about yourself, you should care a lot about yourself. Just, ay, ay, ay. Just go ahead and put makeup on, take some time to do it. Usually when I'm not doing this, I could put my makeup on in 10 minutes. So I wanted to put like a very matte lip on me. And this color is called Nude Rose and it's matte and I've used this and it was super cheap. It was $2.99 at some beauty supply store that I went to that I'm going to be bu buying more stuff from because the girls were really nice in there. They treated me like I was still relevant and they were like in their late teens, early 20s. So I, this I've used before and it's lasted all day long, no matter what I ate or drank. And it's so pretty. It's just a nude rose. And it's uh, by, I don't even, I can't even read who it's by. I don't know. It's cute. It's got like a little handwritten Oh, RK by Kiss. RK by Kiss. So nice. So, right now, I'm done. And I am going to put my hair down and see how amazing I look. <laughs> so, just completely different. <laughs> look right now. I still got the purple in my hair a little bit. 
but um, this is me. This is me now. A lot different looking than with the bun and no makeup, huh, guys? Yeah, looks pretty okay. Now I feel much better, and I'm going to just put my bun back in my head <laughs> because it's going to be over 90 degrees here today. So here you go. This is Mindy, and this is all I do, folks. I don't do a whole bunch because I got lots of responsibilities at home. So peace, love. I will see you guys soon. I'm absolutely going to do more vlogs, and I love you guys. Bye-bye.